I want it to be like a bit of a mystery at the beginning. I mean, for me, it was, this was a very experimental piece. It was me trying to explore visually light and shadow. I was trying to focus a bit more on things like dialogue to build characters because often when I draw, I over rely on facial expressions. I did find it quite difficult as most of my works rely on varied panel sizes. The, the process of drawing it was quite enjoyable. I was trying to test out the ways I could maximise the possibility of monochrome. So I was looking at artists like MC Escher and um, how he uses monochrome and shadows. Sometimes I kind of joke that I don't really know how I feel until I've put it down on paper. Uh, so I think looking back at stuff is really helpful for me. And then if it means something to other people as well, then that's a bonus. <laughs> Black and white um, was, was a bit of bit tricky, but also it was good to practice that kind of line style and practice those skills. Everywhere I went uh, through Osaka, it was such illuminations at night. It was uh, quite fantastic for me. When I draw, when I draw characters, I, know, I knew personally that I tend to save the eyes for the very end. Despite the nearing deadline, the lack of time was also partly enjoyable as it forced me to work efficiently, which taught me a great deal. I wanted to write about a character who was going through a bit of a, a difficult time, but I wanted it to be an interesting narrator. And one of them that popped up was Onomatopoeia. And I thought like, oh, how could I like incorporate that into the story?